Hey guys, so how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to those charts and see what is going on. Um, so yeah, um, basically what I didn't want to see um, happening looks like it potentially potentially is playing out. So we're gonna have well, we will just recycle these lines on this of this pennant um and are we forming a descending triangle here um potentially potentially um, i don't really need to draw the the bottom half of it on ours obviously we already have it drawn in with this um this um support zone this level that we've got in anyway um so yeah that is currently what we <laughs> it's currently what we're looking at i have noticed some people um mentioning um inverted head and shoulders um is that that's one shoulder the head the other shoulder so is this another shoulder um i don't know i don't i don't quite get it i don't quite get what they're seeing there um but yeah some people are seeing that so it must be there it must be there um i'm not saying that it isn't there i'm just saying that i can't see it um we'll delete this line as well um and we'll delete that line now as well so clear clear this up a bit so um yeah, we are at a juncture for Bitcoin. Um, if we, if this bull flag, <laughs> bull flag, what am I talking about? If this bear flag um, plays out um, and this descending triangle obviously <laughs> helps it play out, um, then we are basically looking um, at a move down to around 8,000. Um, which, um, yeah, which we don't necessarily um, want to see. Um, but yeah, that is that is what we're looking at if that is playing out. Um, but yeah, do I necessarily think that's happening? Um, I will only I will say no, but only on the basis that um, I think I don't think they're going to let the dollar keep going up like they are doing because that just just wrecks havoc everywhere. So I think it is so easy for um, for um, the US to come out with um, basically dollar weakening um strategies um so yeah so speaking of the dollar we're going to have a look at that first the dollar index has basically got up to that level that we were looking at um this horizontal here um so yeah obviously clearly broke, broke that trend line um this was the first horizontal we're looking at. i think on the daily here if we go to four hour you can see it a little bit more clearly um yeah you can see this is the first horizontal we were looking at taking this out clearly obviously gives us a higher a higher high relative to this high here um so that is obviously <laughs> not not what we want to see um i will say that we're on a four hour nine so um if we can if we can turn around around this level maybe we can get a get a bit of a sell-off but that's not to say it's going to reverse the trend um but yeah i mean so far as bottoming formations go bottoming and price action goes um this isn't this isn't looking a million miles away from it but that being said like i have said um markets aren't, aren't all, all technical i mean just look at tesla for example um when it was looking like it was gonna capitulate and then all of a sudden it gets a massive uh, move up out of nowhere um because of um, non-technical factors there are non-technical factors that we could um that um clearly are gonna um, have the potential to weaken the dollar and that's what i think is happening um because if if we don't necessarily look at this um on its own and we look at what stocks are doing let's say the nasdaq for example um i mean it look it's looking like it is looking it is looking dicey guys for the first time um, i know i was saying obviously um the trend is your friend we're in the channel we're in the channel obviously um this is obviously the, the point that we're out of the channel so um one of these one of these times was obviously gonna do it but you got it right all the other times um we did get back into the channel but um we obviously gapped gapped lower today and we are still looking lower so potential targets for the nasdaq um i mean and um, we can quite simply extend this this is a uh, nice target um well we'll just call it around the um 10,900 10,900 area um, and then potentially um, we've got this target too. Obviously, these lines were never extending because I didn't think they would. Um, well, not that I didn't think they would need to be used. I just couldn't keep extending them all the way up. But now, obviously, we've broken this channel. Here are two. Here are two potential levels um, for us to get caught at. Um, on the daily, um, I will show you this, but I don't. I don't put much importance on it. Um, we're at the 50, 50 period moving average on the daily. 
Um, but like I said, I mean, if you just want to look back at price, how price action interplays with the 50 period, um, you can see why I don't really pay much attention to it because it doesn't really do much, to be honest. Other than um, other than when we break below it, um, you could say that we're bearish. When we break above it, you could say that we're bullish. I mean, that does particularly work um, quite nicely. Um, so um, on that basis, I mean, it's not like I'm going to say the actual level is going to help us. But if we, if we come through it, then, yeah, I mean, overall, the market is um, potentially starting to turn bearish. 200-day um, uh, moving average is always a target. This is always a target, guys, but that is so far away from price at the moment. I mean, if you look at the drop we've had so far, we're looking at basically, um, well, the same again and then probably about half again. So, um, yeah, I mean, could we work our way down there over time? Um, yeah, potentially, but um, stock markets are, are quite a bit of a um, of an, an elevator um, shaft and a staircase. So um, just um, staircasing down is not necessarily what stock markets do too often, um, too often, as you can see. I mean, it did do it here for a period, um, but you can see it's mostly, mostly up. And then when we come down, we come down fast and hard. Um, so, yeah stocks not looking ideal not looking ideal gold is not looking so bad though not looking so bad this is a daily if we look at it on the four hour um yeah i mean we have got a pennant here we obviously we can we can disregard this one now uh, it's hot is uh, i mean the underside is probably more easier to draw um well it, none of it's that easy to draw we won't draw it we don't i don't particularly like how that how that looks but um yeah, I mean, what we have got here anyway is just compression, compression of, of the price. So we are going to get a breakout here um, at some point, be it up or down, and a breakout of volatility. And if it breaks to the upside, realistically, we are looking at, um, we are looking at um, uh, 2300 um, as, as a nice target. So we'll draw this here. Realistically, if we take this out, 2300 is a target um yes yeah, so we'll we'll basically draw that target um there and um, but yeah obviously we've got to we've got to get this um breakout we've got to get this expansion of volatility here um to yeah to um to sit to basically um get that move and um, let's have a look at the s p s p has obviously lost that important level that we had um it was trying to it was looking like it was maybe trying to form a sending trial but clearly dropped out of that so we will now delete that um it didn't play out and it is no longer relevant to us um but yeah we've lost this important level here we originally got supported well i say supported we got back up to it supported by it um and then subsequently took it out on the second second pass which is often what you will see um s p um targets for the s p um well support around here um support around here um and then um then there's that 786 down there as well but um yeah um obviously um <laughs> obviously to turn something like this around um something has to happen in the market the fed has to come in and do something so um obviously we've got dave portnoy um asking people asking elon to do something let's have a look at elon actually today and not elon but not elon is is oh it's gone is it down even more 21 percent, guys this is um this is quite an incredible move guys cuz let me tell you something let me tell you something this was the point here where um it was looking incredibly bearish and we were about to literally capitulate um i will delete these i know that they've got arrows on this is the point that it was about to break down <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a rap song isn't it this is the point it was about to break down <laughs> um let me just get rid of these where's my where is it here it is um let me undo those and then obviously they came out with um captain stock splitter captain captain elon stock splitter came out and um, well doing this doing what captain stock splitter does um, and then bang we got a move up look at that move up absolutely incredible um and now we are not far off from a full retrace um let's have a look at this because i'm guessing we're about the um 618 if i get a fib extension on this uh or if i can even find the fib extension um um fib fib retracement is fine because obviously we know it basically if you do a fib retracement and we do it as an extension it will basically tell us the same thing <laughs> it's just the opposite yeah so we are very deep here we are in fact we are through the 618 we're coming in on the 786 uh if we lose the 786 i mean obviously we're just coming all the way 
Um, but um, yeah, um, that is um, that is pretty incredible. Um, that is pretty incredible, guys. Um, yeah, let's just have a look at the price range. I know that obviously this is just um, just pure. Um, just wanting to look at it. 80, 84 percent move from Captain Stock Splitter's announcement absolute madness obviously we all know why this is happening this is because the s p said no thank you said no thank you very much elon um they, they basically he basically got pied off by the s p <laughs> anyway uh i'm surprised he's not tweeting about that but i mean there's only so much manipulation i think somebody wants to get involved with that has previous in like um a, such a short space of time but yeah 34 percent down from that high i mean realistically um that's 45 percent, and then we're looking at basically down to here um down to the 187 187 187 lockdown there we go um yeah actually but actually is there more, more so um but yeah interesting 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 um but actually whilst whilst we are whilst we are looking at this because i mean we've, we've got a trend line we've got a nice trend line here um so could tesla could tesla um save itself right here right here right now um yeah of course it could um is that likely um it, it i think it depends now on factors outside i think i think tesla's played all its cards it needs um it needs um outside influence now um to um to um well uh, address this um this halt um address this halt um <laughs> to halt this fall um what i will say though um i am actually impressed with how bitcoin is hanging in above 10k for the time being um but yeah i mean not that means we're gonna hold it hold it forever i mean stocks are weak dollar is still going up and i would have expected bitcoin to make more of a move down but i guess 10k is a level is a psychological level um and people um obviously there is some buying pressure here um how much buying pressure and how long it can hold us for is clearly um is clearly the question and um and then the probably the bigger question is how, how long can it hold it for before um we get a potential move back down in the dollar and move back up in stocks can it hold it long enough before we basically do start to make a beeline for well i mean initially we're going to be looking at um 9k um and then yeah down to down to about um well here is an important level 9k 8.6 i mean there'll be bounce levels on the way down put it that way um but yeah um although we never didn't get too much of a bounce on this way down but anyway i don't want to be over bearish because like i said fundamentally fundamentally over to that dxy um and basically the the political cycle we're in they don't we don't need another stop we don't want we whoever they don't want another uh, stock market crash basically like march when they have literally done everything they can i mean it will just be the end of the financial system next time they um they have exhausted all of their options um speaking of exhausting their options that's basically what softbank did didn't it <laughs> softbank manipulating the market as well basically buying billions apparently of options of call options and then obviously using that um that push up um in the of the underlying assets to then sell into um so yeah um blatant manipulation there um but hey this is the it's a brave new world of manipulation let's just have a quick look at the xlf xlf looking a bit dangerous here which i'm guessing is going to be a severe drag on this russell um yeah i mean it's lost its horizontal it's coming down for this level again um yeah i mean realistically um regardless of whether we get a move back up in tech or the wider market the russell is probably going to get dragged down to here by the financials um anyway let, let's have a look more at bitcoin are we getting any large time frame um tds tds coming in to help us we will literally clutch at straws here and go through all of them um so there's the eight hour um the 10 hour um the 12 hour we had that sort of spirit of the 12 hour didn't we um but um yeah i mean it didn't do a lot um daily um not even the daily nothing on the daily two day two days not going to have anything either um and but the main thing obviously is what what we're looking at is this um look at that for a um a bi-weekly td9 
um, and then just look at what he's done. And we are basically, like I said, we're getting to the point now where we have to bounce. We have to bounce. So, I mean, that is maybe, um, maybe what is going on with holding the 10k level. Because if you are involved in crypto, um, you have got a definite vested interest in keeping Bitcoin bullish on the macro and holding this level. Um, and if we, if we if we lose this level then you're looking at um a a multi a multi month maybe even longer bear market with people um just just leaving basically um just leaving the crypto sphere as in by leaving i mean taking the capital out um and doing something else with it and probably waiting for prices around 5000 um, around the 5,000, so 50% discount where we are now. So that is what is at stake um, for the uh, main Bitcoin. The Bitcoin, well, um, the Bitcoin mar mar market manipulators that only want to manipulate us so far. I mean, they've got to start manipulating this market back up now. Otherwise, we're then, then going to be involved in a, an ever-diminishing uh, market. Um, let's have a look at the stochastics. Let's have a look at those stochastics. Um, four hour has turned back down. Got briefly got back in well got back into bullish zone turned back down um 10 hour i'm guessing is well i was actually going to guess it was turning back down but actually is still um just about up um 12 hours still deep and daily still deep so realistically what we are looking for is this 10 12 and daily to start making a move up and then we can get some momentum where bitcoin will be at that point price price point wise um i don't know um i can't really say um obviously we are looking we are we obviously we are looking bearish i mean you can't say that we're not in in basically a descending triangle pattern um well unless you want to say we're in an inverted head and shoulders um but that's obviously just another uh, just yeah i don't know i can't someone's gonna have to show me this inverted head and shoulders and more than just put mm. Mm, mm, and just say well there we go like where is the neckline where is it why what is it what is this price action here what is this price action here what is this price do you know what i mean what what is this price action um you guys know that i want this to go back up as much as anybody and i actually think it will based on a retrace in the dollar but i don't think it will based on any invert head and shoulders and um, put it that way um so um yeah it is we are um we are still in a sort of limbo in market so you can see why we have got um basically a lot of sideways going on a lot of um, indecision a lot of high range moves um a lot of stuff going on obviously the oil price um moving down even though oil is a buy the oil price is moving down um i believe um it was something to do with um saudi arabia reducing prices offering discounts or something like that maybe they're still trying to bust um us shale um if it isn't already bust i've not really been keeping up too much on the oil market um recently um but yeah maybe um or maybe it's just to do with a spat with russia again but i mean you can see this in the context of what is going on of what is going on here this is a pretty a pretty severe move um off the top of my head is that eight is it about eight percent um no not the whole move down is obviously about 15 percent but um this this move today um yeah is about um about eight percent so yeah uh difficult times difficult times in all markets this is you don't want to see a pan sell-off which is um Obviously, we did see that in gold and silver, but actually, currently, gold has, has recovered nicely and, and silver has too. You don't want to see a pan sell-off because that just makes everyone panic, um, makes us think of March again. Um, the 10-year is holding in, though, so that is um, not so bad. If the 10-year starts to come down, then, we, um, then I would start to worry, um, but the 10-year is holding in around, um, around 0.68, um, so yeah i mean that is that is not too bad for us so um obviously the bond market is more important than the stock market um it is bigger it is more professionally traded so um that is another another bullish factor this is another bullish factor basically um but yeah realistically um for bitcoin um if this is going to load um again i mean i did say it was a case of 10,300 breaking and obviously making progress from there but we didn't we faked out above it um came back down i mean realistically then i we i mean we are looking at taking out this level now and then and then obviously make, m moving higher but that level obviously is quite close to this important level so um you might as well just scrap 
um, these um, levels within this within this short time frame here and just look at a basically a taking out of the important 10,600 level um, are we just going to form a box down here um, you know that I love my boxes my two horizontals my boxes I'm not a massive fan of trend lines that obviously make up a lot of other chart patterns um, as in trend lines as in um, not horizontal ones um, but yeah, so are we just going to play out a bit of a box and then break back up again? Potentially, potentially. Um, or are we going to play out a box and break back down? Potentially. Um, like I said, um, we are holding up um, pretty surprisingly well at the moment. But we have done this before in Bitcoin's history. Um, held up at our point um, during the March sell-off. Um, we were holding up pretty nice in Bitcoin and then all of a sudden we just absolutely collapsed. Um, and I remember thinking at the time, Bitcoin's holding up quite well here. That's obviously good to see. Um, but in hindsight, um, it just was an absolute screaming sell. So I hope we are not in a similar scenario. But again, if stocks turn back up again, it won't be so bad. If Nas, if not Nasdaq, yeah, Nasdaq turned. I mean, but if the um, DXY turns back down again, then again, it won't be looking that bad. Um, it won't be looking that bad. Let's just go and quickly whiz over to the DXY because obviously we'll leave off with that because it is the most important factor. Um, it is the most important factor. Um, yeah, descending broadening wedge potentially, potentially breaking out just like we had in Bitcoin. Um, yeah, not what we want to see. Not what we want to see. Where have my annotations gone? Oh, it's because we were on the wrong chart. It's this one here. Um, but anyway, um, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got levels. I mean, this is it. This is realistically the line in the sand. Um, this 90, basically 93 spot 90. Um, take that out, then, I mean, we are looking at a full-on reversal here, potentially, and, and um, yeah, more more movement to the upside. But, again, do I think that is the most likely? Uh, no, I don't. I think at some point, relatively soon, and before this level, we are going to turn back down. If I'm wrong about that, I'm wrong about that. Um, but um, I, I don't think I don't think I will be. Um, but yeah, like I said, I may be, um, but I don't think I will be. I think eventually um, the Fed is going to, I mean, whilst ever the dollar is strengthening, I mean, this is this is all they really need to tell them, right, we can do more um, because the dollar is going up again, so we can do more. So that that is their signal to do more. Market, You don't get the stimulus and the interventions until markets go against you and then you get it. You've got to get it. You've got to get the moves against you um, before you then get the help. You don't get the help when everything's going ticking along quite nicely so yeah that is it guys so sorry if i've rambled on a bit long i have actually 22 minutes so sorry about that um but yeah there was a there is a wind we're in, we're in there's a lot to look at at the moment there's a lot we're in difficult times here um we are at an inflection point um of um are we in a macro reversal of a lot of trends or are we just at that buy the dip basically buy the dip opportunity in obviously lots of assets or sell the rally um, in obviously the inversely correlated assets to what we are looking at. So, um, yeah, that is it, guys. Remember, this is not a financial advisor, not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I will speak to you guys in the morning.